everyone my name is shambhavi hope you all are doing well so um in this particular video today i'll be letting you know that um how we can extract up the audio from any of the respective videos of any file format you take it out mp3 you take it out mp4 uh, you take dot avi what are the files you take it out it's completely fine first of all onto the python what i could do is that i could make up a new file so go on click on new go off here python file um okay so it will be um audio extract to my file name okay great so yeah here i am having a my respective file name that's um audio extract fine now what i'm going to do up here is that i am going to start up importing above my respective libraries needed up here right but before that let me give you an idea what sort of project this is gonna be then i could move on forward so listen to me out it will be a project into which you'll be entering up any of the respective video uh, of your choice and of your format right and uh, from that perspective on we will extract up the audio it means that whatever the audio you are having up we'll be extracting only that audio and we'll be saving that audio into our respective file format whatsoever we want okay that's the idea of the project which we are going to make up here today so what i would be needing for this project i'll be needing up a video uh, that shall contain some audio okay i'll be needing up a video in that respective format which shall have some audio as well so what i am having a right away with me oh this is my file and into this one i'm having up this respective video from geeks for geeks itself okay this one is one the one which i'm having from geeks for geeks itself so i would use up this particular video only for converting that to the uh that particular format okay so this is what i'm going to do up here to extract up the audio from that right what library will i be using i'll be using up the movie pi movie pi okay uh, i would write that out here movie pi like that okay i'll be using up this particular library uh, for my respective project so what's the process like do you need to install this or it doesn't need installation so yes it needs up the installation command will be pip install movie pi that same i'm going to go on to the terminal here and i'm going to write that down away okay so just let that terminal open up and uh, let me open this out as well mm, great so it's pip install um movie pi that's my respective one uh, which um, i really want to install it up here okay i did hit out enter now what is going to happen out it will install up this particular library in a very short while see for me the requirement is already satisfied so means it, it means that i did have already downloaded that out so for me it is showing that the requirement is already satisfied but for you if you haven't downloaded this up till now so it will uh, show downloading and after that it will show completely full uh, successfully downloaded in a short while this is how it would uh, go out for you okay so um hope i'm pretty much clear with this particular thing that how it's gonna be so i would close up this from here uh great now what's my next task that i have to do my next task is that i have to import that out so i'm gonna write up import movie pi dot editor now what does this editor is actually here but rather we uh, didn't install that out so how actually we could write it up here so this editor is one sort of you can say it's a one sort of function that you have up in this movie pi library what is it used for it is used completely for editing up any respective video now what are we going to do we'll be extracting up audio from any respective video what's that that's the extracting that's the editing which you are actually doing so 
Yes, into that respective case, you will be needing up the respective editor one, editor this particular uh, function here, so as to get your desired output. And that's the reason that I have simply put it up here like this editor. Okay, that's simply the reason that why did I put this up? So it is only the reason that I had done out. Okay. Um, great. Now that's pretty much uh, sorted. It's done. Now what we're doing is that I'll be making up a variable uh, that CVT underscore video. My variable name. Okay. So CVT underscore video. That's my variable name. And that I'm going to set it equal to moviepy dot. It will be uh, editor dot. It will be video file clip okay what is it that i did have right uh, like written right away so see listen to me out this first of all the cvt video is the respective variable which i had made it up here okay now further to that what sites movie pi dot editor that movie pi dot editor is the same library and a similar function which i have imported up above so yes i did wrote that out again here once right Further, further, I have a function that's video file clip function. What's that used for now? So listen to me out. This video file clip function it actually uh, helps you to load up any particular video of any particular format. So I'll be putting up my file name, and it's this particular time to take here. This is my file name. Hit out enter. This is my respective file. Let me show you the name for that. Time to take your first step to DSA Geeks for Geeks School Live DSA classes. Now, the file format for this file is really very different. Ray.3GPP. Let's say EXT, uh, EXT audio. It means extracting audio. Okay. So it's it's equal to CVT dot CVT underscore video dot, and I'm going to use up here the the one second and like that the audio function this audio is one of the functions which you're having what it does it helps you to read and uh, it helps you to actually uh, read the audio which you are having up into that particular video that's what this particular thing actually does out okay so yeah i am doing it the same thing simply i did meet up this variable as ext underscore audio that I did set up to CVT underscore video. What's that? CVT underscore video is a variable into which we have loaded our file from which we want to extract up the audio, right? Further moving forward, I do have this audio function with me, right? That will help me to read up the audio. Let's get down and here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write up that uh, ext underscore audio this respective variable dot i'm going to use up the right function right underscore audio file this will be my function which will help me to extract the audio from our video this is my respective function which helps me to do so so into that particular case i wrote right underscore audio file Right, that's the particular thing which I did wrote it up here. And um, now further inside that you will be writing up your that particular file name into which you want your audio to be extracted. And in whatever the format you want to your want your file to be, that as well you could put it up. Right here, I was having up a 3 GPP as my extension for my time to take your this particular file for my video. Now I'll be extracting the audio into the MP3 format. Why I am doing up the things like that? Because I want to show you that the program which we are writing up here, the, this respective project that we are making it up here, it's really capable of um, adding up these particular things to with this out. Right? That's the actually reason. Okay, nothing more than that. We can simply give it as uh, audio extracted dot mp3 like this i could give it up a file name right and yes that's complete here i did add use of this write audio file function so this function allows me completely to write up the the audio to write up this respective um 
video into the audio format it, it allows me to do so and that's my reason that i did use of this write underscore audio file function here that's my reason actually okay now what i would do is that i would show you the uh, file which we i would show you the video which we are going to convert it up here first of all okay mm -hmm. so let me do that out very quickly i'm going to go up here and uh, i'm going to go up to windows c then users um one second yes and further i'm having up this user i have pycharm then i have gfg great so where's that yeah this is my particular file which i am having it up here okay so yeah it, it will open up in a short while hey so this is a sort of one okay Geeks Geeks. so i'm here with the new announcement for all the students who are okay uh, great. So this is a sort of file which we are having, and to that you have your respective video as well, right? I just wanted to show you that only thing that we are having up the video into this particular file, um, like which we are actually having it up here. Oh, we have the video for that, right? Now what I would do is that I would uh, run up my project here. Okay, let's run that out. It will take up some time. It it might take up some time for you. That the length of your file it depends upon. See in the file which I am having. That's a very short file. Short file in the sense it's a it's somewhat of some seconds only. So it not it might not take more than one or two minutes for getting converted. But let's say your file, your video which you're having that somewhat um 20 minutes or half an hour. So accordingly it will take that much time. But yeah, at last it will convert that out for you. So see what do i got i got that movie pie writing audio in audio underscore extracted dot mp3 done it means that my file my audio has actually been extracted from this particular video okay now let's go on to that destination here and what was my file name one second oh uh, okay it was audio extractor okay let's get above it was a right um yes this is my file right audio extracted first of all let me open up the properties for this okay so i would go into the properties um let me take it up here okay so yeah that's an mp3 file right and when it is it is created it's created somewhat at same time right um i have some one thing to show you actually i haven't increased up the voice so just do out one simple thing listen to some starting four to five words whatever is in the video so that we can tally that the audio which has been extracted is that correct or not okay just listen this out hello everyone welcome to geeks so i am here with a new announcement for all the students okay so yeah i hope that you must have listened out the very starting few words which are there now i'm gonna go on to my audio underscore extracted first of all see the difference first of all just see how the difference here this file which i am having this is automatically having up some video format it's automatically having that out let me show you one second yeah have a look over here this respective file which is it is automatically having up a, a video format into it because this is how a video looks like right see this is one of the videos so it is as well looking up the same this is one another video so it is as well having the same look but now if i take you to above if i take you to above right away how is it gonna look see here it is automatically looking that some of the other audio file we are having it up here right now let me run that out and let, let's listen that out what's actually here so i'm gonna go it open it out okay hello everyone welcome to geeks with geeks I am here with a new announcement for all the students who are in class 9th to class 12th. Okay, so this was similar, right? I, I showed you the video from which we are extracting. Even I showed you the audio which has been extracted. I showed you both the things, right? Now, the content is absolutely similar here. Right, no difference. It's not that case that the video is something other and the extracted audio is something other. Right, so into that particular case, I hope that you did got up an idea about this conversion. So I hope this project is pretty much clear to you that how you can make up this particular project and use that accordingly. Right, so this is all for this video. Till then, thank you and take care.